In this video, we'll learn how to create the cityscape in Inkscape. You can download the original source file and follow along. Everything is a separate vector object. And this artwork has been created in conjunction with UKR Art Design. So check out some of their other stuff on Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. Let's hop over to the screencast. The first tool we'll use is the rectangle tool. And we'll left click and hold to draw just a basic rectangle. Go back into selection mode. And then we can go into fill and stroke. And notice the opacity is turned way down. So we'll turn the opacity back up to 100% and turn this black. This will be the street. We can go to the edges here and click on these arrows to extend the shape. Back to the rectangle tool again, and we'll draw a building. We'll turn it brown for now. This will be just one of the high-rise buildings, just for a reference point. Uh, the first object we're going to start drawing is with the rectangle tool again. We'll draw the base of a lamp post, and then draw the actual post. Notice snapping is enabled. If that's happening for you, you can disable it in the top right-hand corner. We'll go to Align and Distribute, and we'll center these along the vertical axis. We'll adjust this a little bit. Here's a little sample of what this is going to look like. With the rectangle tool again, we'll draw this sort of uh, horizontal member of the lamppost and put this down about here. In the circle tool now, we'll draw some circles and place them here. These will be the lights. And we can right click and go to duplicate to create the second one. So it'll be the same size. We can duplicate again. Now we have three that are the same size. We'll resize this a little bit, and then we'll align the circle with the post. And then also, let's align these lights with each other as well, again, in Align and Distribute. Now let's change the color. We'll make it more of a, a white or a gray, and we can go uh, into the Fill and Stroke settings again, and we can use this Color Picker tool to make sure that we choose these other two to be the same color as the top one. Now all three are the same color. We can select it all and go to Object Group, and now it's behaving as one group. We can resize it all, and we can move it around, and it'll be behave as one grouped object. So we'll extend the road a little bit, and let's duplicate this. We go to right-click, Duplicate, or you can do Control-D on your keyboard also. We'll duplicate a few of these lights, um, put them along the road here, and then we can go again to Align and Distribute, and this time we'll distribute them evenly so that there's even space in between each one. Now let's grab our circle tool and let's start drawing uh, sort of this tree. This uh, this is sort of a bubbly tree, so we're just going to be creating circles of different sizes and resizing them. When we have the look we want, we can left click and drag and select all of these circles and then we'll group them. And now let's grab the Bezier Curve tool and we'll draw this base. So we'll just left click a few times to create some nodes. If we left click and hold, we can create a curved line between the nodes. We can close it off by returning to our original node. Let's go back into selection mode, and let's go over here to the fill and stroke. We'll turn off the stroke and turn on the fill, and we'll change that color to be brown. And now it's in front, so we'll set it back to a lower level so that we can't see that behind there. And that looks like a pretty good tree. So let's select the whole thing and go to Object Group, and then we'll just uh, resize this a little bit. We'll go to right click duplicate and we'll mirror this around and resize it a little bit so that it doesn't look exactly the same as the other one. And then we can uh, just put these together. We'll duplicate them, move them around and distribute them around a little bit to create some trees along this roadside of our city. Now let's grab this building. We're going to resize it, we're going to duplicate, and all of this is just using rectangles. So it's rectangles layering them on top of each other and slightly changing the color. Um, it's amazing what you can do in Inkscape with just these simple shapes. Again, we have rectangles at the top here to create sort of an industrial type building. Maybe these are smokestacks on top of the building. And by just slightly changing the colors and then moving around these rectangles, we can create um, a pretty good look that the, the viewer can kind of use their imagination to kind of give this building more depth than it really has. The skills you'll use for these buildings are basically using the rectangle tool and then also align and distribute. So we select everything. And if you're having trouble with align and distribute, just remember you have to select everything. So everything selected is what you will align to. Here we'll draw a, a three-sided um, polygon. And so this is like that star tool 
And uh, if you have three sides, it just creates a triangle. So we'll use this as the top of our building. When we get a building completed, we can just go to Object Group. We'll draw another building here. This time we want to go to Path, Object to Path. That gives us these four node points so that we can create something other than just a rectangle. So we can create sort of a, what is it, what's the shape called? Anyway, we can create a shape like this. Again, that's Path, Object to Path, and we'll use that a few times in this drawing. Duplicate and Align and Distribute is really the key to getting all of this going. So we group every row of windows, uh, and then once they're all grouped, we'll just go to this Align and Distribute, and then distribute them evenly apart from each other. So everything selected is now distributed and has equal space in between it uh, vertically. Again, we'll do Path, Object to Path. And this time we're going to go into this edit by node and we'll add a node. So with the top two nodes selected, we add this node, it adds one right in the middle here. Then using the Bezier curve tool, this time we'll draw a little bit more uh, detail on this building so it's not just rectangles. Let's speed up the video now. I'll add some background music and just watch and observe and we'll kind of learn by observing some of these different techniques um, of creating this style of artwork. on the final touches with these background buildings they don't have nearly as much detail maybe there's some fog or haze so we can't see as much detail with them and then for the final background we just draw a giant circle and we go to this Bezier curve tool there's a couple ways to do this but we can draw out an area and then we select both and go to path difference and that'll cut off this bottom half so that we just have a half circle we change it blue and that is the finished drawing Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, check out some of my other videos here on YouTube, and we'll catch you in the next video.